integrals as accumulation. So here we have a statement of the fundamental theorem of calculus, the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals capital F of b minus capital F of a, where of course the derivative of capital F of x is regular F of x. So notice that we can rewrite this slightly just in terms of capital X, and we could say that the integral of the derivative of capital F of x dx equals capital F of B minus capital F of A. This is rather amazing when you think of it, because what it says is if we integrate the derivative of a function, what it gives us is what you could call the net change. And so if we have a function going, here's a function f of x, here's a and b. And if we integrate the slope of that function from a to b, what we'll get is the change in height, f of b minus f of a, how much of the function has accumulated. And so as a very specific example, suppose we had a velocity function v of t, and we integrate this from time one to time two, what we would get is a change in the position function, which is change in position, of course, is distance. We'd get the distance traveled. So the distance that had accumulated while traveling at that velocity. So as a general rule, accumulation is an excellent word to associate with what is actually going on with an integral, what you're actually finding when you find an integral. Another way to think about it is it's a way to multiply things together that are not constant. The basic idea of area, for example, area is base times height. When you have a constant base and a constant height, but when you don't have a constant base and a constant height, you need to take an integral to find the area. Much in the same way, if force is a constant, then, for example, work in physics would be force times distance. But if force is not a constant, if force is something that depends on distance, then you would have to take an integral of force from one point to another point, and that would be the work done. So again, multiplying things that are non-constant then what you'd have to do, instead of just multiplying, you'd have to take an integral. So integrals represent how much would accumulate in such a case.